So let me ask you, which would you prefer, to rip with a cross cut or to cross cut with a rip cut? If you rip cut with a cross cut, it tends to be a good bit slower. Not to mention the cross cut teeth tend to follow the grain and move it around a little more. But if you've ever tried to cross cut with a rip cut, You've seen all the blowout that comes with it. You get a horrible exit wound from one of these. When it comes to small rip cuts, uh, the exit wound really isn't that bad. So that's why most of the time, when I'm talking with something about the size of a carcass saw or larger, I would generally prefer to use a cross cut to rip cut. It's gonna be a little slower, but I'll get a cleaner cut for both of them. But if I'm talking about something smaller like a dovetail saw, I would prefer to cross cut with the rip cut than to do it the other way around. Or you could be one of those people who just try to avoid all the argument and say, what about hybrid cut? And in that case, you have the worst of both worlds. It's slow, it tends to go off course, and it gives you a horrible exit wound. It's at this point, I know a lot of you are saying, come on, James, it's too much talking, just cut to the joke already. 